We're in downtown Detroit to deliver meals to first line workers. Just want to say thanks to the community. It's been great, especially today over the flyover. It's very heartfelt to the whole community for the, the fire department and the police and EMS for everything that everybody's done for the, uh, the local Chinese uh, American community. It's been great for the mask and the food. We really appreciate it. Thank you. I can tell you as, uh, as a uh, city of Detroit uh, official and also as a, uh, as a veteran of the United States Marine Corps, uh, to have you do this, to have the uh, North American Chinese Coalition and their association, to have you salute our uh, first responders is, is really heartwarming. Uh, it, it's something very special to the city, it's very special to them, and it's very special to anyone that wears a uniform. Uh, because the, the one thing that we all know is that uh, they give uh, day in, day out without uh, having to expect any pat in the back. Uh, it's, it's what they do because they have a passion for it. And to see that the community steps up and, uh, and responds uh, in kind is really meaningful. Uh, this was unexpected, um, but that's what I've learned from, uh, from not only you, Lisa, but the members of the Asian community. You don't have to be asked to volunteer. You're there to be there. Uh, and in this pandemic crisis that we're experiencing throughout the country, um, I've heard nothing but a wonderful story coming out of our uh, Asian American community, our immigrant community, stepping up and doing their part to make sure that, uh, that we have uh, an environment uh, that brings hope to our community. So thank you very much on behalf of the Office of the Mayor, on behalf of the City Council, uh, I, I want to thank you and the Asian American community, and I ask you to continue uh, your prayers for our community, uh, to continue the spirit of giving, uh, because we can never do enough. Thank you. 50 states, 100 cities, one people united. Thank you.